Hi everybody, I'm Greg Fischel. Welcome to bonus weather video number two for this week. This is gonna be a little different. You're looking at a NOAA Weather Radio, NOAA, standing for National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. And of course, the National Weather Service is a subset of that government agency. So you're looking at a NOAA Weather Radio, and in my opinion, this is one of the best, if not the best way, to be alerted to severe weather near your area, especially if it's in the middle of the night. Now, there are a number of different services you can subscribe to that your phone will set off a little text message uh, beep, but it may not be loud enough to wake you up. And so uh, this thing, you can uh, set the volume to be as loud and obnoxious as you would like uh, to make sure that you wake up. And the whole thing that motivated me to do this video was the tragedy that occurred in Lukama in Wilson County several days ago, where there was a gentleman uh, that was killed by the strong tornado that went through there in the middle of the night. Now, I don't know this for a fact, but I suspect that he may have been asleep and had no clue that something this bad was near him. And had this alarm gone off and he had been able to get to a safer spot, it might have saved his life. And so it's in that spirit uh, that I do this video. So. I bought this particular radio at Lowe's, although there are a number of different places you can buy them. And there are several different models. I got the basic one, uh, which is about 30 or 35 bucks. There is a battery backup, but you need three AA batteries, which are not included. And so you have to purchase those separately. Uh, there is a adapter, power adapter that plugs into the back. And there's an antenna which comes folded down, but if you fold it up and extend it, it's actually pretty high. <laughs> And so there are transmitters, the National Weather Service has transmitters for these radios all over the state, but their range is only about 40 miles. And so uh, you really have to you know, find out which one is closer to you. And unfortunately, there are always going to be locations that are uh, you know, sort of in the middle of all those transmitters. And so they're gonna be borderline in terms of reception. Uh, hopefully you are not in one of those, uh, one of those areas. So I'm gonna go through the setup process the same way you would if you had just bought this radio and taken it out of the box and you're uh, gonna set things up. So the first thing is, it says set language, okay? So I'm gonna pick English, although if I wanted to, I could pick Spanish as well. And then it says set location, okay? Now it says any, I don't wanna do that because that means that I would get every warning issued by the National Weather Service, uh, you know, uh, or every type of warning in, in any location across the country. I don't want that. So I'm gonna scroll up here. There's multiple, I don't want that. I just want single, I just want it from my location, okay? So I hit select. Memory bank number one is empty, so I hit select again. I definitely want United States. And I'm in South Carolina, so I'm going to scroll all the way down to the S's. Uh, not South Dakota, Greg, South Carolina. Okay, select. And then my county is Horry County, H-O-R-R-Y. So I got to scroll down here for that. There we go. I hit select again. And then it says set time. And my laptop is telling me that it is 834. And in the time it takes me to set this up, it'll probably be 835. So let me set the time. And I've got to scroll through the numbers twice here to get to the PM, okay? So there's eight. And I go over one column. There's three. Over one column, go down one. And I've got 8.35 PM. I hit select. And then it says to set the channel, okay? Now there's a website, and I'll post this URL uh, below in the text area, but it's, uh, see if I get my cursor here, it's weather.gov slash NWR for NOAA Weather Radio and then slash counties, okay? So down here, you see the list of all the states. And so I'm gonna pick South Carolina, okay? And then up comes a list of all the counties. And so I'm gonna scroll down here to Horry County Whoops. Let's see here. There we go. So I'm going to check that box. Okay. And there's only one transmitter that's near me. Okay. And so the frequency of that particular transmitter is 162.400 megahertz. So I'll come back here 
and I'll hit select. And I'm at 162.475, so I've got to go down. Okay, and I'll just let you listen Friday, for a second. Partly sunny in the morning, then becoming mostly cloudy. A chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. So it will continuously give you the latest weather forecast from the National Weather Service, uh, current conditions, all sorts of stuff like that. And so I want to hit select because that's the frequency that I'm going to be listening to. And then it says the setup is done. Okay. Now, if you want to turn the radio on, you simply hit this weather button here. Saturday and Saturday night. Parking Comes on, you click it again, it turns it off. Okay. Now, I'm going to go up to menu and I'm going to scroll along here. And it says alert, alert volume. Okay. So I'm going to hit select. And I've got it set to high, okay? And you can hopefully heard how loud that was. So that's, that's just peachy, okay? So I'll select that. Then I'll go back down to alert test and hit select. Okay, so that's the loudest it can get. And that would probably wake you up if it was right next to your bed. So uh, no problem there. And so I think what I wanna do now is just Okay, hit menu, it saves it. And then I've got the current time up there. If I want to turn the radio on, Winds 15 to 20 knots with I simply hit that, it. hit it again, and it goes off and it just displays the time. I believe, and I'd have to read up on this, I believe you can also use this as an alarm clock. I'm not absolutely certain about that, but uh, you could use it for that purpose potentially as well. So uh, now in terms of the warnings, it is possible that you might get a warning for your county and it's not in your portion of the county. So there is a chance that you would be alerted, like supposing you lived in Wake County and uh, there was a warning for the northern part of the county, maybe including Wake Forest, but you're down in Fuquay. So it's possible you may have the alarm go off. And as soon as you listen, you'll be able to you know, to, to listen to exactly what part of the county it pertains to. And if it doesn't pertain to you, you go back to sleep. If it does, then you can take the, uh, the appropriate action. Uh, there is a move afoot across the country to have a what's called a partial county code, uh, which uh, would split your county up into eight or nine different sections, and then it would really be specific to your particular area. But I do not think that feature has been enabled in North Carolina yet. Uh, but if I find out differently, I will definitely let you know about that. So that is the setup procedure for a NOAA weather radio, in this case made by the Midland Company. And I would strongly urge, I think the 30 or 35 bucks would be one of the best investments you ever made, plus the cost of the batteries. And then if the National Weather Service issues a warning, you will know about it. Uh, it covers watches and warnings and advisories and just about everything. So uh, again, I hope this is helpful. Uh, that is bonus weather video number two for this week. Number three will be coming up on Friday. I hope you have a wonderful Wednesday evening, and we'll talk to you soon. Take care, everybody.